I, I'm personally excited for um, the the Chelsea Spurs match. Um, I think that one will be really good. You've got the reigning champions going up against Spurs, who who really did. I mean, just scrape it at the, at the end of the season. And I think this is going to be a good litmus test for Spurs. They they're now they don't have Bethany England, which is going to be like such a shame and and a huge blow for them. Really, you think about it. She came in second half of the season, changed Spurs, pretty much saved them. And she won, you know, their, their, their player of the season, all this different stuff. And now she's out. And Spurs kind of have to go back to that sort of pre-No Beth England era and be like, right, how do we do this? But uh, I'm excited to see what they can offer. I'm excited to see it. I'm also just excited to see what, what Emma Hayes can do with Chelsea. I mean, this, she's going for another season of, of Chelsea dominance. And I think that'll be kind of fun to see how they, they get off. I, I, you know, they didn't get off to a great start last season and they still managed to do what they did. So whether or not you'll see them wobble, whether or not they'll come out with a bang, I, I think that one's quite exciting. It's at Stanford Bridge. So yeah, I'm for me personally, like that's the one that I'm really excited for. And a London derby, you can't really get much better than that. No, you can't. Um, I'm, I'll be at Arsenal, um, Liverpool at the Emirates, which I'm very excited about, which is 46,000 fans, I think, have already bought tickets. So it'll be another amazing day. Obviously, Chelsea play at Stamford Bridge. We have Villa playing at Villa Park. Hannah, do you think this is... I think for a long while we've been waiting for the clubs to catch up with how passionate fem- the women's football fans are. Do you think the number of games that we're seeing played in the so-called men's stadiums is an example of how much the, the game is growing, not just, you know, on a five yearly basis, but on season per season. Yeah, I mean, in general, it's a bit of a bizarre one because you talk about playing in, in sort of the men's grounds where you've got Leicester that play at the King Power every week. Bristol City will be playing at Ashton Gate pretty much every match day, provided schedules allow it. But in general, yeah, I mean, I, I for one, am, am really excited. I think it's more that the top teams need to do it a bit more. It, it kind of does baffle me a little bit that, you know, if, if teams in the championship can do it and if teams at the lower end of the WSL can do it, why can't your Arsenals, your Liverpools, your Chelsea's do it? I mean, I know there's the argument of sort of packing out King's Meadow and Meadow Park and grounds like that that can have a really fantastic atmosphere when you go there. I think there's a few players that have said King's Meadow is, is their favourite place to go because of the atmosphere. So I don't know if it is a case of, of sort of picking the moments a little bit more, um, but I, I'm, I'm really excited to be at Villa Park, especially on Sunday, because... Um, I can't remember the exact record attendance at a Villa game. It's been growing, but I think it's sort of always been around the five sort of thousand mark. Um, but they've already sold eleven thousand tickets, which I think is really exciting. And and I'm not sure how many of those will be Man United fans. Obviously, we know they have a <laughs> have a very good following both home and away. Um, but I mean that'll be a cracking atmosphere at Villa Park. Obviously, Villa have played there a few times. They played their opening game against Manchester City their last season and, and won. Um, so hopefully they can <laughs> replicate that this Sunday against a different Manchester team. Um, but they've opened up the whole end as well, um, which I'm pretty sure is the first time um, they've done that for a Villa game at Villa Park. So it, it is really exciting and and I, we just want to see it a little bit more, I think. And um they play more games there. Obviously, Arsenal, I think, are very good at choosing their moments with it. Obviously, the Champions League games and and the big WSL games that do sort of tend to attract those bigger audiences. But it is great and it's a fantastic experience for the players as well to sort of play in that kind of atmosphere and, and experience that as well. And a lot of the time, it's easy for the fans to get to as well when you talk about some of the smaller grounds being so far away obviously think about Liverpool playing at Prenton Park it's it's the other side of the river and stuff like that so it's a lot more difficult for for fans to get to whereas they're used to going to the Premier League and the men's grounds every every week so um, if anything that that should as well encourage more people to go.